In today's mass tutorial, we'll be looking at how to solve a system of linear equations involving two unknown variables using Kramer's rules. To solve this, all you have to do is first form a matrix of the coefficient of the unknown variables, which is the coefficient of x in the first equation is 3, and the coefficient of x in the second equation is 4. Then the coefficient of y in the first equation is 2. Then the coefficient of y in the second equation is negative 1. So this is the matrix of the coefficient. Second step. You need to find the determinant of this matrix D, which is 3, 4, 2, and negative 1. The determinant of this matrix is the difference of the product of the diagonal elements. 3 multiplied by negative 1, 3 times negative 1, minus 4 times 2, 4 times 2. This will give us 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, minus 4 times 2 is 8. And this altogether equals negative 11. This is the determinant of this matrix. Uh, we need to find the determinant with respect to x. The determinant with respect to x, you need to replace the coefficient of x with the constant times. The constant times are 26 and 20. And uh, the coefficient of y the main constant and this will give us 26 multiplied by negative 1 minus 20 times 2 this is negative 26 minus 40 and this will give us negative 66 this is the determinant with respect to x then you need to find the determinant with respect to y and this is you keep the coefficient of x constant 3 and 4 then instead of the coefficient of y you replace them with the constant terms 26 and 20 and this will give us 3 times this times 20 minus 4 times 26 and this is equal this time this will give us 60 minus 4 times 26 is 104 and this will give us negative 44 so we have found the determinant the determinant with respect to x and the determinant with respect to y so the value of x the value of x is equal to dx divided by d and our dx here is negative 66 negative 66 divided by d and d is negative 11 negative 11 and this is equal to 6. To find y, you need to divide dy over d. And dy is negative 44 divided by d, and d is negative 11. Negative 11. And this will give us 4. Therefore, the values of x and y are for x we have 6 and for y is equal to 4. Uh, this is how to solve a system of linear equations using matrices, which is the Kramer's rule. In my next video, I am going to show you how to solve a system of simultaneous equations involving one linear and one quadratic. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss anything.